hey guys it's been a while so yeah today I just decided I wanted to talk about uh, a simple idea I just wanted to begin this normal art talks which are not these are not about the technical aspects of drawing every time and so I just wanted to talk to you about this thing that I have been doing this art thing that I've only been doing for about a year actually if I'm to be because I started drawing in 2018 yeah about 2000 in April of 2018 and so when I decided to take this drawing thing seriously and this is what I want to talk about before so as we proceed in this video so as you can see from the title of this video I started drawing when I was 24 that was in April of 2018 so when I started drawing and the simple story how I got into it is I had this I, this because someone's birthday was coming up all right so she had this birthday coming up and I'm terrible at picking gifts like there, there are people who are good at like, they go and get gifts and it's, it's very I am terrible at buying gifts for people and I so I was thinking to myself what can I do this was this was about uh, March I think March of 2018 and I'm wondering uh, the birthday is coming up so what am I going to do like uh, which gift am I going to give and so this idea comes to my head I'm like how how about if I draw a portrait of her it's because for the portrait it's just like uh, normally normally when I when, when I buy when people buy gifts there is this kind of thing that I attach to a gift I'm like how are they going to think about this gift or how are they going to do this so it's like I was thinking to myself if I buy something if I buy this gift it may arouse this feeling it may project this feeling and I just wanted the gift to be neutral so that the best option that I could think about at that time was a portrait but I had no idea how to draw and uh, like we, you know those people who tell like I've been drawing since I was little no I didn't the only times I drew when I was little or younger was the times when I'm in those when I was in those classes which were draining the life out of me and that used to occur very very infrequently it used to be like just simple doodles of like things I had no idea what I was doing right uh, they were not like they were not like masterpieces of, of art all right they were not like everything that art had to give it was just simple ideas of uh just things in my head stick figures actually so but then after some time i would, I, I decided to think about this idea of so this was first for 2018 i had i had barely drawn anything i didn't know things about perspective i knew how to draw lines and i liked drawing simple sketch lines but I didn't know anything about the deep aspects of things like perspective value whatever nothing I just I just used to draw line figures all right just like any kid anyone this was up to the age of 24 so this was up until February of 2018 so from 93 till February of 2018 that's yeah I was not doing any art at all so I started then thinking about how can I execute this within one month I need to come up with a portrait that is presentable and I had a lot invested in that so I had uh, I had this feeling of this has to execute her likeness it has to be perfect so I had all these ideas going in my head 
So it got me excited. That was the first thing because I was I was ex I wasn't I wasn't thinking about how am I going to execute this, but I was thinking about uh, the outcome, the end result, or what she may think about it. Like I was picturing ideas of she would like it, right? Or she would say thanks. Or she would say this is terrible. But but uh, anyway, either way, all the outcomes, it was exciting for me to just get a reaction, all right? And most importantly, to have something to present that was neutral but thoughtful. I did what everyone else can could do. So I, I went to YouTube and then started looking around to figure out which style I was going to use and which kind of format I was going to execute this. So I then met, saw this video where someone was teaching how to draw in Illustrator. Now, up to up to this point, I hadn't drawn real figures or complex illustrations in using any software or in on paper as well. So I, I had just like used Illustrator to just simply lay out basic designs, just simple like business card designs and so nothing illustration or at all. So. When, when the time came uh, and I noticed, I knew my way around the software, so I knew my way around Illustrator. I had a rough idea on how Photoshop works, where all the things were, but I was terrified of Photoshop. I, I just didn't know how anyone could execute anything in Photoshop, and I used to look at it as magic. So like. Photoshop was a no-go for me. Illustrator was kind of my comfort zone, Adobe Illustrator. So in Illustrator, I started thinking about the idea of maybe I could do this in Illustrator. So I, I, I went to YouTube and started looking around, found this video and it explained how you can create a line drawing in Illustrator and I was hooked. So I just started doing that. So I did it, that simple illustration, it was a line drawing. It took me about eight hours at that time. Uh, I went, I was in my room, I just did the, the whole day. I had classes, I didn't go to classes that day. I, I forgot to go to classes, I forgot to go for my meals, I just did work. So when I was done, it looked really good and I was excited. And I was like, wow. But then when I went back to Illustrator to see how I could improve it, then I I found this other video whereby the portrait it had now colours to it. It wasn't just a line drawing, it had colours. I was like, yeah, this could be really this could be cool. So I went and uh, drew the same thing, but now I was using this was all vectors um, because Illustrator is it's a vector-based program. So I'm drawing using vectors. I'm just using my pen tool. And at this time, I had no Wacom tablet. I had nothing. So I was using my mouse. Uh, I was using my mouse to draw. And so I, I sketched out her portrait using vectors. And at that time, it, was, it came out so cool. I mean, if you want to see it, when you go to my Instagram, gems underscore skj, it's the first post this uh, it's the first post that i made on my instagram account on this instagram account where i have my artwork so i was excited like i was excited i was like if her birthday comes up so this was in this was towards the end of uh, march and it took me about maybe it took me about two weeks or two to three weeks to draw that simple thing to like put in all the shadows like something that would look like a shadow and then define form because at this point i was now starting to learn how to define form i didn't know anything about form definition like value studies but i was trying to execute these just simple ideas so it took me two weeks to just push out that one portrait it's the first 
it's the first portrait on my on my Instagram. And actually, when the when her birthday rolled out, it was April twelfth. Her birthday rolls out, um, and then I go. I am like, uh, it it will take. I'm I'm still working on your on your gift. It's going to take some time. So I had to go and speed things up. Uh, for April fourteenth, I I showed it to her. She she liked it. She said thanks, and then this sparked the idea of wow this is this is cool like i liked the way it had come out at the time i liked it so much and then i was hooked on the idea so like drawing like drawing is something cool so i went and then i started drawing other people i started drawing my friends like i drew a lot of my fr using the same method using the same procedure so i started getting my way i would post some of the pictures i would post them others i didn't post them because i just i just i just like drawing and then whenever i would finish it's mostly when people's birthdays were coming up i would post so the first portrait took me about two to three weeks and then the my second one was for my friend's birthday again it was coming up on april 27th I then went again and started drawing. So from April 14th till 27th, I was working on another one. So the, so now the time was kind of similar, two to three weeks between there. But then when 27th April reached out, reached up, and again, I had another friend of mine's birthday was coming up on May 5th, all right? So between 27th and May 5th, I had to come up with a, a portrait that was good so again i started doing that one okay so uh that took me a very short time and it came out better than the other ones in hindsight of course but so you can see now at this point i was building up skills but i wasn't really minding about uh defining my style i was just excited about these prospects of uh, making my friends day okay these friends of mine i just wanted to make their day so and it all started out with this one portrait where i had this one gift idea to give to this friend of mine okay the first portrait that i did and so after the the birthday craze went down so i then started focusing on like how can i expand this to be bigger because now the interest i had generated interest in myself so i i decided to uh, ask myself how could I make this much much better or much much bigger so I decided to go deeper into studies to learn how to smoothen out those blendings so how to make uh, a stepwise blend that is smooth of course this is all still in illustrator right but soon uh, soon I realized that Illustrator was kind of limiting me in, in ways because I was just keeping on pumping out these very, very stylized portraits that I was, my interest was now d decreasing. I didn't like the way those portraits were coming out. When it came to hair renders, I would miss my way through through all those hair renders. If, if you go to my Instagram, you would see those first portraits. They are like in a cartoony style of format. Yeah, so I didn't really like that. So I reached out to, I think this was after I drew the portrait of God of War. I reached out to a friend of mine. Okay, now it's not like, it's not like a friend like I know in real life. It's like this... Uh, person is from Canada is called Mark he has this Instagram account I reached out to him and asked him like hey man I like your portrait set because he was growing in he was using Photoshop at that time I think or Procreate one of the two so he told me your work is really impressive for the fact that you're drawing in Illustrator and you're using a mouse to draw so then this sparked an idea of oh I need to save up to buy maybe a better uh, two so I saved up and bought a this kind of uh, I think it was a, a tablet yeah I, I, I think at this point I had bought a tablet I, I'm not very sure about those but at that time I was still shifting between using a mouse and the tablet right 
So, when you told me that, but my work would be much better if I if I if I use Photoshop, I was again hesitant, and I started giving him these excuses, right? I decided I started giving him these excuses of like, oh, you know, uh, if Photoshop is RAM heavy, and my my machine, of course, my machine even now it's still the same machine I use, but it was taking long. For example, whenever I could execute a stepwise blend in, in Illustrator. Sometimes I could go and it's just still loading, like it takes long to smoothen out those, those blends between two shapes. So I thought if Illustrator is behaving like this, then how will Photoshop behave? I was like, I, it was very, very hard for me to switch. But then on, on his advice was like, he, he told me just try it. So I just tried it. And the first portrait I was drew, I drew was for a girl, and this time I, it was different. I wasn't using vectors; I was using pixels uh, in in Photoshop. So I was going and using the eyedropper tools, and then using those, uh, and then figuring out the colors. So again, so this took me for 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 example for the nose of that girl, that girl portrait. It took me about maybe five hours just to draw just the nose portion the nose and once i drew it like it was the best thing that i i, I thought it was i just liked it so much right so again i so i started drawing again and again most of between those times i wasn't posting much of the work that i was doing i was just drawing and drawing i, I find it really really uh, frustrating sometimes to post work uh, that I'm going to regret later so I, I I wasn't really posting much I was just simply drawing and drawing but then uh, after that I then decided to stop on the drawing and then try to understand what I was doing because up to up to this point I was just doing random drawings and I wasn't really this was up to the, the time I drew Gary V, I I think Gary V's portrait I was doing well but I wasn't I didn't know exactly what I was doing I was just I was using different things like uh, grid systems and, and uh, using the eyedropper tools just anyhow I wanted and no no offense to grid systems but the thing is when you use grid so it's it's a good thing to use them when you know the rules and I didn't know the rules so uh, it's better if, if I'm if if I've never used grid systems since then I think the review was my last portrait that I used grids but from then on I started learning more about perspective anatomy of the human body and then I started uh, figuring out all these things value on perspective color compositions uh, so so then I decided to start executing these things and putting them into real action and developing my own style so this is when everything crumbled down again so I then lost everything that I previously thought I knew because now everything didn't make sense I was like how are these colors working so how do the shadows work and how do light light areas light so i did started learning slowly by slowly so again you may see in my portraits some of the ones that i've drawn or here on on youtube you, you will see like like the portrait i drew of uh, philly d it was terrible for one reason because the proportions are right but the light the way i rendered the light on his face i just it's just like a, a washed out light so it washes out all the form there is no uh significant definition of light and shadow all right so those 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 things are, are now things that i'm really focused on trying to get and with time so i decided to go back and start studying so i took this course on by bill parkins on composition he briefly also describes about values and stuff like value grouping 
So when I took that course, I learned a little bit about value grouping. So there was this portrait of, uh, I think it was Durox painting. I, I had taken over a month. I drew it in like February of 2019. And then I didn't know what I was doing. So I dropped it. And then like late in May, uh, sorry, not in May, uh, late in uh, let uh, sorry early early may i i then went back to it and then started doing it again so it's a it's a portrait because i had now learned how to go through those things so anyway but the whole story now I'm, again i'm still learning a lot about composition values and anatomy and i'm still learning even now i'm uh, beginning my journey again trying to uh, get I'm beginning my journey of trying to draw traditionally and I've already started really seeing impressive results and of course I'll, I'll probably show you sometime because I don't have a camera and I don't know how to show you these things but yeah I have a, a little bit of now progress going with the, with the traditional methods and with time I'm going to begin now also going into acrylics and stuff but I'm focusing on that uh, on learning the general rules and then uh, I'll be there are already areas that I'm zeroing in and putting much more emphasis on so the point of this video is uh, when people People will tell you about things like learning that you have to be this is talent it's not it's it's not talent it's uh, it's interest when when you're learning the things it's it's like learning learning art art is a language it's not it's it's not it's not like uh, it's not something that some people have and some people don't have it's it's a language it's just there, there are there, there are many many maybe many forms of language there, are, there is energy right so maybe those the times when when our ancestors didn't have these languages we speak they could read by energy or, or like you you figure out this person is not feeling good and like like the way we communicate with animals or dogs if you're communicating with a dog it's it's not it's, the dog will pro maybe understand your english and I, I don't know about that but it will mostly read your energy or the actions you're doing okay so there is energy and then there is speech there is speech is the one with just speaking and then there is music okay so music is when you're expressing again your it's a form of expression of energy uh, and then there is there is visual so this is visual art so this art is also a form of language so when you're learning art it's just it's just like a language it's not it's not a talent that some people are born with and others are not imagine if if you are if you are supposed to be walking right for people who walk and or talk in that case so and then your parents were like ah my child doesn't have talent for walking so for people who approach art in the sense of talent that's the same thing you're doing it's, it's like you're thinking like as if if it were in, in a case where you have to walk you're going to give up because you think you have no talent but you have the resources you have the hands you have the legs you have the mouth the people who draw with all these things the people who draw with their hands, others draw with their legs, others draw with their mouth. It doesn't really matter. It's it's a form of visual expression, uh, and how you 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 express yourself in these images through these images, right? So, uh, so which means it doesn't matter whether you are one year, if you can draw at one or two years, five, twenty, twenty-four. 60 80 90 as long as you can hold the pencil and just start drawing you just keep drawing 
uh, you avoid all the limitations that society puts on you because people don't even people don't know what they're talking about like everyone's just giving you an opinion so it, it all depends on on what you think about yourself and just trying to be the just trying to be the best version you can be regardless of things that people will tell you right so uh that is my simple story this time about how i learned to draw in art it all came down to interest find something that interests you for me i was this it can be an emotion because if you're trying to draw something that doesn't if, if you wake up tomorrow and be like i'm going to draw today and you begin with a, a complicated still life that you don't you don't really care about you're going to give up within the first few hours because you're not going to understand first of all you're not going to understand the rules when you look at my my first portrait i don't i don't focus on perspective i don't focus on value i just focus on presentation all right and again this is another topic that i'll talk about in our next art talk comparing the differences of how babies for example learn things like languages and why they why they learn very quickly and why we learn relatively slower yet we can learn just as fast so i'll be talking about that maybe in the next art talk but for now i just want to express the fact that go with something that you're interested in just just begin by focusing on something you care about or someone you care about for me it was it's someone i care about when whenever i'm trying to draw of course she has no idea but for me i always just draw her this like my milestone whenever i draw her i find out whether i like that kind of genre of art or i or i don't and and even though if so if i'm trying to draw an environment and i'm drawing her and pressing her in an environment i'm going to find myself too much involved in the creation process that's that's one person i care about and you can have anything you care about it doesn't really matter as long as it sparks this interest in you of trying to express yourself uh, and engaging this uh, energy of yours you have your creative energy that each and every single one of us has but somehow society beats it out of you through uh, funny and uh, uneducated programming so just just focus on trying to execute your own ideas that that uh, kind of generate an interest in you so by that you learn how which ideas work and which ideas don't work for you and then after that you can begin to if you find that the genre you've gone into of art that it it pleases you so then you begin digging deeper so there is this saying where, which goes that uh, when learning explore widely right and then when mastering explore narrowly just just focus narrowly all right so when you're beginning out feel free to explore yourself don't ask questions just draw things that you like if you see if you see a car draw that if you see a dog draw that if you see a human draw that and then you learn things you like and then things you hate you may find that you like 3d art more than 2d art or both whatever you just keep drawing and then once you find things you like and then begin mastering in the areas you narrow down and then begin mastering slowly by slowly and that's how that's my approach and of course i'll keep you updated on this channel on how the progress will be going um, but that's all i had for today and let me know in the comment sections below uh, how you learn or if you have any other ideas on how you approach this thing of learning art uh, with, with whether you didn't whether you grew when you were younger or not all right so i'll leave it at this just go create still awesome be amazing till next time peace